Welcome everyone to another exciting edition. We're happy to have you here today and today we're talking on something really, really important. Today we're looking at alternative entry programs for international medical graduates who wish to practice um, medicine in Canada. There's the, the chances are limited in this situation, but there is hope there are part ways in which um, candidates could come. And we would go ahead right just to outline um, these different part ways at the time of recording of this video. So first of all, if you want to come um, from your foreign or your home country um, into Canada as you know an international medical graduate, there's a few provinces that have specific programs that are dedicated for international medical graduates and you know healthcare personnel that's trained outside of Canada and, and the US as a whole. And these part ways are usually more um, you know easier to get simple less requirements or better still let's say you already meet the requirements um, from being trained in your foreign country either as a healthcare professional or as um, a physician or a dentist or a pharmacist so there's um, junior there's provincial nominee programs which is called the PNP and lots of provinces in Canada have specific you know streams that are under this program that target internationally trained um, healthcare professionals and these all this this programs you know they provide several opportunities just to gain that permanent residency because it's hard for you to actually practice without being a permanent resident but you practice perfectly without being um, a citizen in, in Canada so um, these are all things that people are trying to ask questions about if can I practice medicine if I'm not a, a Canadian yes the straight answer is yes you can practice and if you become a permanent resident which is very easy and you can become in six months then you can practice there's other part ways called practice ready assessment called PRA program and this program is designed to assess the readiness of an of a foreign trained physician to practice medicine in a specific province or territory in Canada and there's several provinces they have different regulations i'm going to put the general link in the description please check it out and um reach out to those provinces um, for your specific case so imgs who are who successfully completed a program are usually eligible for getting a license um, to practice in a specific um specialty in that specific province there is a carms which is what everyone knows the canadian residency matching service which gives two opportunities it's the first iteration after you pass the qualifying exams um, that we can talk about in in, in other videos um, then there's a second opportunity if you didn't match in the first iteration this gives you the chance to reapply and to get a position to get into residency. This will usually be for younger graduates who just graduated out of medical school and they haven't done residency for specialists. I will talk about the pathway that could be suitable for you in a bit. Other pathways could be the Canadian Armed Force Medical Officer Training Programs. Um, and these are also alternative part if you have like some military background or if, if the military is something that is, is interesting to you and you feel like you like it and you've always wanted to be in the military or in the AM force then you can actually apply. I'm going to put the link of their website in the description. You can reach out to them and then they'll give you ample information in terms of how to apply um, specifically for that particular program. There are other really provinces that would nominate physicians who are trained outside or dentist or I mean pharmacist or some kind of specific nurses just depending on whatever field you're doing Ontario immigration I mini program these are all programs that will you know come through in demand skill streams and they'll target IMGs um, with specific job offers usually there's lots of job opportunities that you can apply right from your home countries and through that you could get access to pursue um, you know medical licensure in that particular province Saskatchewan immigrant um, nominee program as well as um, this international skilled worker program where they you know bring in health care professionals in the health professional category and this category is specifically designed for foreign trained healthcare professionals which include IMGs and, and nurses and you know dentists and, and pharmacists successful applicants usually will be nominated to you know request for permanent resident which is an easy part way to get um, permanent residence of course other regions and provinces like 
like Nova Scotia nominee programs also there there's a British Columbia nominee program which is all there I'm gonna put all the links in the description box below and they have a healthcare professional category which is really really easy to get there's Manitoba um, provincial nominee program as well under the skilled worker in Manitoba um, health occupation in demand and all of these are part ways in which you could use to come to Canada first which is what a lot of people um, usually don't have now let's look at the specific program called the PRA which is a practice ready assessment this is kind of a shorter and easier to get part way I wouldn't really say easy per se but it is shorter in terms of if you already have lots of training and practice experience from your home country and you do not want to go through residency again you can just go through this program and then at the end you would get um, if you go through and you successfully complete all the different tests that you have to take and um, you know skills and knowledge assessment then you can be given licensure to start practicing in a specific uh, province of Canada based on what that specific province requirements are so the program typically consists of a series of assessments it's going to be observations evaluation and clinical knowledge um, assessment communication skills professionalism clinical decision making abilities uh, and the program is always conducted under supervision of, a, of the regulatory authority for that particular province and the specific component and structure of the program really varies per province and or territory in Canada however the program will generally involve a combination of some kind of exams which is a QE1 for now and then the objective structure clinical examination as well it's, it's not a very difficult exam and and then stimulated patient encounter on where you would um, try to assess a standardized patient and sometimes direct observations of clinical practice is what um, you would get so the purpose for the you know practice ready assessment program is to provide part ways for internationally trained physicians to demonstrate their readiness to practice medicine in Canada and successful completion of the program may you know lead you to getting directly into either a, like a terminal residency program or just you know having you get specific province requirements to start practicing as a specific physician for a specific um, you know specialty every program has a specific um, requirement and need for this particular practice ready assessment and I'll send the link in the description box just be ready to check it out and uh, you know get into contact with a specific province that you're interested in and then you see what you need as requirements for that particular province the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons assesses or evaluate um, you know specialists international medical graduate and you typically need to go through some steps so they will need to determine your eligibility and so they check if you meet the eligibility criteria set by that specific Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada and this includes having you know completed a residency program in a country recognized by that college and passing a valid medical license and meeting specific language requirements as well so that's the first thing and the next thing is that they do a document verification so they gather all your documents and you submit all required documents including your medical degree your transcript your proof of completion of residency training this Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons will verify your credentials and determine if you meet their standards and then you go through the regular exams which is taking the QE1 and these exams will just assess your general knowledge in terms of um, um, if you still have that background fundamental um, you know basic clinical practice knowledge and then you go through a residency assessment if your residency training is not recognized in by the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada you may be required to undergo a residency assessment so this will involve a review of your training and evaluation of your clinical skills and potentially a period of supervised practice that you would have to carry out and then you have you've got interviews you know some INGs may be invited for an interview with the college where they assess your qualification experience and you know suitability for a particular program to practice in Canada once you're done with all of this and you're ready to start practicing there's a final thing that you need to do which is usually the clinical exam which is the OSCE exams It's called the objective structured clinical examination and it assesses your interactions with with patients in general and then um, certification of course at the end so open 
on successful completion of all the required exams and the document verification as i earlier said and any additional you know assessments that the board might need from you you will be granted certification by the royal college of physicians and surgeons in your specialty and also allow you to practice without restrictions in canada so these are all the different steps that you need to follow but it is worth noting that um, the process and specific requirements um, for IMGs to register with the Royal College of Physicians um, and Surgeons of Canada can vary depending you know on individual circumstances and the specialty you're pushing or you're trying to apply for it is recommended to review the you know the college's requirements I'm gonna leave the link in the description consult their guidelines contact them directly um, and get the most accurate and up-to-date information I will leave the information in the description box so this is a summary I'll be explaining each of these things that I have said in subsequent sessions and if you have any questions I will hear the answer thank you very much stay tuned subscribe like and share these videos